Alright YouTube, Adam Roy back with part 2 of this uh, Dell Dimension 530 uh, project. <coughs> Windows 7 is definitely properly installed. You can see from the video before, um, it's got 4 gigabytes of RAM. The uh, experience got a 5.0 and here's what each individual component got. Processor 5.1 uh, memory 5.1, uh, graphics for Aero 5.0, gaming graphics got a 6.2, that was pretty nice, and 5.9 for the hard drive, which is expected because this is not an SSD. So, what we're going to do now is uh, try to install Ubuntu. Um, the other installation was a failure, um, it timed out, and I think I know what the problem was, so we're going to go ahead and give this another try. Alright, let's go and give this Ubuntu installation one more try, shall we? Alright, and she is loading up. So, I'll be back in a minute once this uh, finishes loading. You can see that does say Ubuntu. Alright, let's click on Install Ubuntu. And just as last time, yes, I want to download updates and third-party software. And while that's working, you can look outside and see that the sun is finally out. Um, we have had nothing but rain the last few uh, days, so I'm blessed to see this uh, sun out. You guys out in uh, California in the drought situation, please come and take some of our rain. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7. So let's hope this works. There we go. Okay. Allocated drive space. Uh, that that looks okay, because most of the stuff that I'm going to save to this computer, I'll save on the backup drive. So that's pretty even. So we'll hit uh, install now. Let's see. Uh, before you can select a new partition size, any previous changes have been written to the disk. If you cannot undo this operation. Please note that the resize may take a long time. That's fine. We, I won't make you guys sit through that. <laughs> Continue. Okay, so uh, once Ubuntu is installed, I'll be back. Alright, it's about an hour later, and as you can see... It says the installation is complete, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the disk, and uh, we'll see if this worked. Go ahead and restart the computer. Uh, looks like I got an email. Yeah. 
Okay, the disc actually popped out for a second time there. Okay, remove the media and press enter. So we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Here are my different options here. Um, for right now, we're just going to go into the regular Ubuntu. And because I took too long, it did it itself. <laughs> but you can see the loader had Windows 7 there, and then, of course, the Ubuntu recovery options as well. Looks like Ubuntu's coming up just fine. And here we go. That's actually really quick. This is actually quicker than the uh, AMD X2 system. Which I'm not... Well, I really was not that impressed with that computer. Um, I got a message a few minutes ago from uh, White Tiger Industries. He said that he's never liked AMD that much. You know, almost every AMD system I've had in the past has had some type of glitch. The performance can be good, but they just seem to be a little too glitchy for my taste. Alright, so Ubuntu has come up properly. What I'm going to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and restart this. And I'm going to try to load Windows 7 just to make sure that's uh, working properly still because Ubuntu did resize the partition on the hard drive. So I'm going to scroll down to Windows 7 and we'll hit enter. Well, so far so good. Yeah, it's probably going to do a, a disk check because it resized the partition. So I'm going to let it do that, and we'll be back once that's complete. Alright, she's rebooting. I uh, did a memory check. It actually loaded in a, uh, Ubuntu again because I wasn't quick enough. But let's see if it works now. Make sure all my drivers and everything are still installed. Yep. Well, everybody, I would call this a success. So I am now dual booting Windows 7 and Ubuntu Linux version 12.04. Might do a few more videos on this system. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with this for a little bit. Do all the updates for both the operating systems. Make sure everything is stable. But um. Don't be surprised if there's some more videos in the future about this, this system. So have a blessed day, everybody, and stay tuned for some good things to come.